the gate. Priority mission highlighted. Proceed to the marker. barricades and have someone radio the patrols to be on the lookout for stragglers some of those bastards got away i didn't expect another attack so soon you okay if this keeps up we're gonna have to relocate come on help me with this we're stretched too thin to protect everyone here not again get to the waterfront that can't be right for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? Get down! Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. 
And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped each, each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas, Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out, who can save us then? It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus, the green poison. The real danger is out there, waiting. 